when desire feels good you're in a place of being ready for the next inspiration and the next and the next when desire feels good to you then you are on your path of living happily ever after if you have something that you want especially those desires that you have wanted for a while and you have not been able to identify consciously a clear path to the receiving of them a clear path to the manifestation of them then sometimes nearly always you begin to feel discord you call it impatience or disappointment or even fear doubt sometimes you feel blame of others or unworthiness that it hasn't come to you or irritation that the same kinds of things are coming to other people but not to you and so when your desire doesn't feel good to you it's not on track and that's why it doesn't feel good to you doesn't feel good you're not on your path and it's not difficult to get onto your path but it doesn't help to proceed with a vibrational stance that just isn't letting it unfold for you it would be like knowing that there's a treasure buried somewhere in your backyard and it's a big backyard and you know it's out there but you have no treasure map so you have no sense of where it is and so you have to dig up the whole backyard and after a while of digging and making a mess of everything and still not finding it you begin to feel discouraged and sometimes you get more and more bold you get bigger and bigger things to dig with you involve more people in the digging you make a bigger and bigger and bigger mess of everything but you still don't find what you're looking for because you're going about it in a way that won't work so we might as well just start off today with a very bold statement not only to get your attention but because well it's mostly to get your attention but it's also something that is absolute and very important for you to understand sometimes you just cannot get there from where you are and that sounds different from what you usually hear from us because you count on us as being your optimistic friends who say you can be or do or have anything that you want and while that is still true sometimes you cannot get to where you want to be from where you currently are but we're talking about your vibrational stance and what we're really talking about is that sometimes you fairly frequently you often you almost always that what you are doing as you are wanting to get to a different place from where you are approaching it from your physical it's so nice to be physical observational it's so nice to have the ability to see and hear and smell and taste and touch from this very tangible manifest things into a reality where I and others can see them so often you want it to be about something that is not parked in your garage yet that you want to be parked in your garage and there's an element of dissatisfaction within you as long as this beautiful new vehicle that you want is not parked in your garage and there's something about you human creatures that you are that causes you to go to the garage and notice it isn't there and in your awareness of its absence you continue a vibration that makes it very difficult for you to find the path to it and we get how you would be that way because you 
were born into an environment with all of your observational ability and your observational ability is essential to why you are here it's what allows step one of the creative process to happen at all step one says when you know what you don't want you know what you do want and that's the asking part of it and you could not come to any of those conclusions or many of them without your observational senses and so we're not trying to talk you out of seeing and hearing and smelling and tasting and touching we just want you to know that once you have identified that you want something then using those senses to take score of where you are in terms of the manifestation of it is counterproductive It's like step one is ask step two is source delivers it vibrationally and step three is you've got to tune into the vibration of it so that you can translate the vibration of it into the thing that you want or into the experience you want or into the having of whatever it is that you want but most of you are so involved in seeing and hearing and smelling and tasting and touching that you use your observational senses to help you with step one I know what I don't want and therefore I know what I do want and what I do want is a new vehicle or what I do want is a new relationship or what I do want is an improved relationship or what I do want is a better job or what I do want is 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 and once you've identified what you do want now we want you to stop noticing that what you do want isn't that's what's tripping you up it's the taking score of what you want so you're not letting step one serve you in the way that it could you're letting it serve you you're launching the rocket the rocket of desire you're creating a vibrational reality it's what your vortex is your vibrational reality when you ask for something it becomes vibrationally and all that is source energy your inner being the very beginning of that which you are all that you are then gives undivided attention to this new birthing of this new desire and holds it in a vibrational place where it can be yours but you often are not tuning in to that vibrational place because you're still stuck in the step one place where you know what you don't want and you know what you do want and you're noticing what you don't yet have you just can't get there from there so we've spent a few years visiting with you about how you live in a vibrational universe and it's hard for you to get that because it seems to be very tangible to you there's no point really in talking to you about the vibrational makeup of any of these things that are so obviously physical you can tell me it's vibrational all you want Abraham but I see a chair and I really like this fabric So talk about the vibration of it if you must but I'm a physical human here in a physical body and I'm used to looking at chandeliers and lights and room dimensions and measurements and what everybody's wearing or not wearing and so forth I like to see and hear and smell and taste and touch my vibrational reality and we say yes you do and we want you to because this is the leading edge of thought and that is where the greatest satisfaction is ever experienced in all of the creative universe of which we are all a part and you said I'll go forth into this tangible tangible environment and from my awareness of what's going on there I will come to new and improved conclusions and decisions and preferences and desires knowing that source energy then will follow the path of my new desire and that then I will be the recipient the liver of I will get to drive the new car I will get to experience the new technology I will get to eat the new food and live in the new environments and dwell in the new dwellings I get to live in this leading edge environment but you didn't come to just live in this leading edge environment you came as a creator of this leading edge environment and you will never be happy if you are only in an observational state you will never be happy if you remain only in a reactionary state
You can't just observe and react and get to the improvement. It does not work that way. At some point early on in your understanding of this three step or four step or five step, we can put a hundred steps on it. The first three are the ones that we really want you to focus on. Step one is you ask, step two is source answers, and step three is you gotta let the answer in. You've got to tune into the vibrational frequency of the vibrational request that you have made at the vibrational now reality that now exists before you can allow yourself to see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and do it. So what we're really asking of you is something that is the most natural thing in the world to you, but you have practiced otherwise so it doesn't feel natural. What we're asking you to do is to think less specifically about the things that aren't working out the way you want them to and think more specifically about the things that are working out the way you want them to rather than look at the problem and define it and then attempt to solve it from your awareness of the problem which is never something that will work out for you because when you're looking at the problem you're a vibrational match to the problem you're perpetuating the problem you are in the receiving mode of more of the problem identify the problem and then back off from your awareness of the problem and see it as a request for something different and then find a way to be a match a vibrational match an emotional match to the new and improved that you are asking for and that's really why you came not because things need to get done and not because things are broken that need to be fixed but because it's oh so fun to get to bring your awareness into an environment where you specifically and importantly choose what matters to you and then you find the vibrational stance that lets the universe deliver it to you when you get to witness that what you're really witnessing is your personal attunement to your personal desires and what most people are mostly witnessing is their personal attunement to a reality that already exists to which they are having a knee-jerk response so you kind of have to decide am I a creator or a regurgitator do I create my own reality or do I just keep observing what is and keep being a part of regurgitating more of that there's a war against this and that and the other there's a war against so many things and everything that there's a war against things are getting bigger because when you look at something wanted or unwanted you become a vibrational match to it and law of attraction makes you part of the swelling of it of the growing of it of the evolution of it you see so we have a few questions for you not because we don't know the answers because we have a very clear vibrational awareness of where each of you stands in relationship to what each of you desire it's just perfectly clear but the reason that we're going to ask these questions is because we would like to bring you to a more centered place in your awareness we would like to help you to find that some call it grounded we call it essential that beginning vibrational root of who you are because if you can frequently return to your vibrational knowledge then what happens is you stop all the chatter that doesn't matter that is preventing you from a clear and more important satisfying path to the unfolding of what you want so just some fun questions call out if you want or just project with your thoughts either is fine because it's all for you do you understand that you are more than this physical body Is it 
logical to you that you have been before this physical personality and that you will begin following this physical personality that you are eternal ongoing can you feel some logic in that can you feel that there is not a veil or a wall or even really an important differentiation between the non-physical part of you before you were born and the physical part of you now that you are born in other words can you stretch your awareness of who you are to include who you really are the whole of who you really are can you acknowledge that you are sourced that there is a source of you who is in real time aware of you that's really the question a non-physical part of you keenly aware of this physical part of you can you find that knowledge so that means can you accept that while you are here in this physical body a part of you that another part of you remains non-physical and that you are all that we are all weaving in and out and in and out and in and out in the ongoing expansion evolution and continual existence of that which we all are in other words for expansion your part is so essential to the equation and for stability our part is so essential to the equation and vibrationally speaking we are really all one can you sort of find that can you accept that even though there is so much to see so much to experience through your magnificent sensors and ability to translate vibration into meaningful life experience that even though you have that ability to do that can you sense that there is a whole vibrational world that is moving through you and around you and to you that is really what is responsible for everything that you see can you accept that there is a vibrational world and can you accept that this vibrational world matters can you accept that from that vibrational vantage point your earth continues to spin in its orbit in perfect proximity to other planets and can you accept that that really is not something that any of you no matter how wise you are is really doing with your own physical mind we're asking you do you accept that there's more to this equation and does it feel purposeful to you or was it just sort of a lucky thing that turned out a sort of random thing that just happened and BAM perfection we spin in our orbit eon after eon after eon in perfect proximity how odd that must seem if you think it is random but when you think about the purposeful existence of that which you are and the importance of the continuing of that which you are then can you see that the continuance of that which you are and we are and that all that is 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 really about new ideas calling energy forth into new time space reality do you think that as you're here in this physical body in this magnificent time and place do you think that there's another realm somewhere else that is really more complete more perfect more finished that you are striving to join yeah we thought you might think that but it's not like that it's not like that instead what's happening is this expansion that we all are is forward looking with you that's why you matter so much to the equation you're out here on this leading edge having first time exposure to first time surroundings and first time exposure to first time experiences and you're coming to personal conclusions about what you prefer within it and as you do that you're launching these vibrational rockets of desire which are the reason for the expansion of the universe we say these things to you because you don't really know how important you are to the equation and because you don't really know how important you are to the equation often 
you squander your importance by being reactionary to what's already manifested instead of being wise in your energy flow in the creation of the new did you follow that just a little bit when you see something and you know you don't like it and that's all right that's what step one is but then you stay fixated on what's wrong with what you don't like you hold yourself in a pattern of vibration that does not allow you to be the receiver of the improvement because the vibration of the question or the problem is different than the vibration of the answer or the solution so what we're really saying to you in the lightest way we can say it and we think you can follow it given the questions that we just ask and that you just answered you're sort of most of you stuck in step one sifting and sorting and evaluating what is so enamored with the physical creation that you've forgotten that you're a creator it would be like being a really wonderful artist who has created a really magnificent statue and then you just spend the rest of your life this isn't really as magnificent as we are describing but then you just spend the rest of your life admiring what you created that time way back then and not allowing the juices to keep flowing and so the satisfaction factor of this creation no matter how magnificent it once was or no matter how many people once thought it really was beautiful it will not continue to satisfy you for very long because what satisfies you is reaching for more and finding a way to line up with the more what satisfies you is being an extension of source energy and allowing that source energy to flow through you real time and so when you are reacting for more than a moment to something that's going on in your human environment when you're reacting to it and holding your consciousness about this thing that you are not really enjoying or not wanting then even though you've launched rockets of desire and even though source is all over it and even though streams of consciousness are flowing to it and the energy that creates worlds is already flowing toward the creation of the new improvement if you're holding yourself in awareness in reaction to the problem that you don't want then you never become part of the solution and you never feel satisfaction you never feel a moment of satisfaction because you know what satisfaction is satisfaction is it's just a word like so many words satisfaction is a word descriptive of the way you feel and satisfaction is the best word that Esther can find that means what we mean when we say the blending in any moment of the perspective of your human perspective and the perspective of your non-physical God force perspective when you are looking at anything in a way where you are not in the moment introducing resistance because of a sort of very flawed premise from who you really are you feel satisfaction in other words let's say life has helped you to realize that you really could use more money and in your awareness that you could really use more money and that awareness might come up often many times in a day let's say so every time that happens you launch a rocket of desire a request really for more abundance and each time you do that your abundance grows vibrationally in what we are referring to as your vibrational reality it's like the beginning steps of the creative process So this vibrational reality which we've named the vortex because we wanted to get your attention we wanted you to feel the realness of it it gets bigger and bigger and surer and surer and stronger and stronger not only because you continue to add to it but because your inner being is focused upon it and because law of attraction is gathering the cooperative components for the improvement of this so you have without knowing it created a veritable fortune that is identified as yours it's yours it's the beginning just like the kernel of corn that you put into the ground is the beginning of that big plant that will produce ears of corn this vibrational reality is that for you but if you are humanly natured if you are enamored by seeing hearing smelling tasting touching if you are not remembering that you are a vibrational creator then you might be still standing over here in the discomfort of the money not being here yet it hasn't manifested and so you're holding your attention so much on what is and having knee-jerk reactions to that 
so you're holding yourself vibrationally in a different place than where your abundance is which means you cannot be doing that and be in step three which is the receiving mode at the same time any more than you could set your radio dial on one channel and hear what's being broadcast on another the frequencies have to match up so you've asked for and have created a vibrational reality you have a vibrational abundance that is really beyond our ability to describe it to you but if it isn't in your bank account yet if it isn't flowing through your experience it means that you are vibrationally in a different place and it's easy to understand why isn't it because when you're looking for something that you cannot see when the bank does not acknowledge that the money is there so you say to us all right Abraham we'll play your silly game we'll accept that there's something over there where Esther's arms are pointing we'll even call it the vortex like you do just tell me how do I get the money out of the vortex and into the bank that's all I really want to know and that's what we want you to know too we want you to know that this vibrational reality that you have created is yours and yours alone in other words no one else is gonna sweep in and take it away from you but you've got to find a way of getting to the receiving mode of it so if you've been listening to us for a while we've been telling you all kinds of suggestions about how you might do a better job of getting into the receiving mode but what so often happens to you is that you have a knee-jerk response to something and then you do a process something that we've offered or someone else has that makes you feel a little better for a moment but you don't often really get to that place of knowing that what you're asking for is really real and is really yours and is really coming because there's something so objective about looking where something isn't that makes it feel odd to talk about it as it is and you listen to us we say but it really is it's vibrational you can't see it yet and you want to believe that we want you to have faith that it's there but mostly you say I'll see it and then I'll believe it and that's easy isn't it only problem with that is you're seeing what others have believed because they had to believe it before they could see it and so if they believed it then they saw it then there it is for you to see and then you say whoa 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 we need to do something about this there seems to be something going wrong because whatever is happening however it's getting created I don't like it that much understand that you get to modify it for yourself all day every day and that the energy that creates worlds is backing you up in support so you want more money and let's say for right now there isn't enough for you you don't have access to it it's not ready for you to spend and when we say you can spend your vibrational currency you say Abraham go talk to someone else vibrational currency is not what I really need right now I need currency not vibrational currency I need currency and we say and therein lies your problem because your need for the currency you don't have will keep you from resonating with the currency that you do have and until you begin to resonate with the currency that you do have it can't become bigger in other words these thoughts cannot turn to things have you been hearing us talking about turning thoughts to things you got to wonder how things happen where does the economy come from there are not pipelines from other planets piping in resources you're turning thoughts to things that's what the expansion of all of this is about and so when you accept that you are turning thoughts to things if you could just hear us believe us know what we mean when we say oh oh the vibrations that you have created the basis of all of the tangible things and experiences that you desire the basis is so expansive and so deep and lucrative and based in all that is good that if you could just begin to get a whiff of it and you could just hold yourself within range of that vibrational frequency then 
those vibrations which you can't see or hear or smell or taste or touch you can't even make a thought out of them in the early stages those vibrations if you hold yourself these are the words not in opposition of them in other words when you stop doing that thing you do that holds you in opposition of them when you let your cork float when you let your mind be still when you stop beating the drum of what is 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 you let what you really want to be what is get a little bit of momentum going that's how the deliberate creative process works but what that requires is that you have to find a new starting place we were watching Esther the other day she was having an experience with someone that she really cares a lot about who was having response to her they were having a sort of responses with each other that was not pleasing either one of them and no matter how hard Esther tried to find the right words she could not find the right words partly because she was not purely in the receptive mode and absolutely because the person she was talking to was not in the receiving mode and so Esther found herself in one of those you fell into futile situations where it doesn't matter what you say or what you do it's just going to be what it is you're just not going to have any movement on this at all and so then once the conversation ended now Esther is still trying to think about it but still getting no movement about it no movement in a sort of rut you ever find yourself in a rut so something's gone wrong you don't want it to be wrong you try to pivot Abraham said pivot pivot when you know what you don't want think about what you do want but there's something so tangled in your vibration right now about what you don't want that even when you try to think about what you do want it's in defiance of what you don't want in other words it's all tangled in there together you just can't get there from there so Esther got out ask and it is given her favorite book 22 processes in the back of it 22 processes of what to do when different things happen so she did a little of this and a little of that and a little of that a little of this a little of this and she got feeling a little better but not good enough that that thought left her mind altogether so all day long she stayed in a sort of rut that she had created this is what I've got but this is what I want and this is what I've got but this is what I want and this is what I don't want and this is what I do want and this is what I don't want and this is what I do want and this is where I am and this is not where I want to be and this is where I want to be but this isn't where I am and this is where I am and I don't want to be here I want to be over there but I'm not over there I'm over here not over there I'm over here not over there I'm over here not over there it was exhausting No movement whatsoever how often do you stay right there relative to your money relative to some specific relationship relative to your employment or lack of it it's so easy to think you're doing the work to mean to be doing the work to want to do the work to want to feel better to feel better and then worse and then better and then worse and then better and then worse so what happens oh friends you've come so far because there was a time when you felt worse and a little better and worse and a little better and so instead of really wanting this and being over there you've closed that gap in many cases you do feel so much better but you are powerful creators and just feeling sort of kind of better every now and again isn't the answer to the deliberate creation that you are about you are often in a sort of vibrational rut where you have brought yourself to a place of feeling better and then next time you turn the corner something else happens and you start that reactive that reactive process all over again and then you come to us and you say Abraham I'm really getting this I'm getting so much better at this I'm better in this than I've ever been but those people at work are so negative <laughs> if I could just rid myself of all of the other inhabitants of the planet <laughs> I could just enjoy it by myself so much so we wipe everybody else off the planet three days later you're complaining about loneliness we know you we know you where am I going to eat all of the people are gone so we've enjoyed this interaction immensely 
so we've identified sort of what's been going on for many of you Esther has focus wheeled herself into oblivion on some situations because she believed that if she just did another hundred or two focus wheels on a certain situation that then she would be able to communicate with this particular person and everything would be wonderful again and then we began saying to Esther you know sometimes law of attraction causes you to go this way in other words it's not your job we are not having these conversations with you so that you can control not through your action and not through your strength and not through your prowess but through your vibrational alignment we are not giving you any of what we know about these laws of the universe to help you be powerful in controlling anyone or anything what we are knowing that you want to know is how you can consistently be more of a vibrational match to what you have put over here in your vibrational reality which means you got to find some way of shaking loose of this rut that you're in where your highs go this high and your lows don't go that low and your highs are this high and your lows only go that low but you've got to get all the way there in order to really be in the receiving mode you can't be in the receiving mode of magnificent things and be in the petty mode of focusing upon things that other people are doing that bug you they just don't go together so here's what we're getting at and that may be the best sales job that we've ever given in helping you to understand that there's a reason that we are here talking to you about vibration so this is the conversation about thoughts turning to things this is the conversation about you being so practiced in a thought that that thought becomes a pure expectation an absolute belief a belief that holds no doubt a belief that doesn't contradict itself not a hope not a yearning not even so much a belief but a knowing an unequivocal decision made by you practiced by you known by you exuded by you and the cooperative components of the universe assisting you in being the receiver of the ongoing evolving evolutionary receiver of the satisfaction 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 as each and everything that you desire blossoms into your experience giving you unequivocal satisfaction moment by moment as it moves along but you've got to start someplace other than over there so close to where you are so when you sit with the intention of what many call meditating we'd like to offer a different label to it because there's resistance even in the idea of that but if you can decide that you want to quiet your conscious mind enough so that the non-physical mind that is purely focused upon all that you've become and the wholeness of who you are if you can find a way of tuning into the vibrational frequency of that those vibrations once you learn to sit there for a little bit within them will begin to turn to thoughts and when those thoughts come you will feel and understand while we don't want you to focus very much upon them the pleasure and the satisfaction of that thought and as you sit there not distracted by current what you want to call reality but experiencing the whole of your now vibrational reality what's in your vortex will be able to make its way into your manifested world through the pathway that is your non-contradicted mind does that sort of make sense to you So have you ever sat to meditate do you sometimes do that are you doing it on a semi-regular or regular basis 
And when you sit to meditate, when someone suggested to Jerry and Esther that they meditate, as soon as they got away from that person in the car, they said, that's just weird. Jerry said, I think of myself more as a business person. <laughs> Meditation just seemed weird to them. That was many years ago. And to many, it still seems weird today. But it's because there's not an understanding of what it means. Meditation, if you understand it and you're about to, will take you back to the core vibration that is unchallenged by beliefs that are keeping you from what you want. Meditation will take you to the vibrational frequency that your inner being is. And as you're able to maintain it for a little bit, law of attraction will bring momentum to that. So when we talk about law of attraction, what we're really talking about is momentum. We're really talking about you being at some starting point and law of attraction bringing the next and 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 the next. So if you're irritated by something, law of attraction will bring you more and 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 more of things like that. If you are in love with life, law of attraction will bring you more and 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 more of that. But you are, we love you so much you are we love you so much you are sloppy in your thinking you are reactive in your thinking you are letting everything in the world be the reason that you are offering the vibration that you're offering and then you are in opposition to what you really want you can't get there from there your mind at first it's very difficult because your mind has been trained to be responsive to your environment but when you quiet your mind and what that requires is focusing upon something quieter Esther sat to meditate yesterday and she had a load of clothes in the washing machine and a door closed but she could still hear the clanging and the banging of the zipper on the jeans and it kept her from being able to withdraw from her physical experience just something that simple and she thought well it'll stop in a minute but it didn't it was an hour and 12 minute cycle and so it wasn't a good choice of a time or a place for her to intend to quiet her mind if your telephone's going to ring, it's not a good time or a place to sit to meditate. You want to find a time when you are not likely to be interrupted in a space where you can really control the environment a bit. It's good if you can shut out the things that you're mostly physically attracted to. So as you sit in this comfortable position, it doesn't matter what it is as long as it's comfortable. And as long as you believe that you can maintain it for at least 15 minutes without needing to worm around, sit in a comfortable place with one intention and that is to let your mind be still and when your mind wanders and it will just focus upon the idea that you want your mind to be still now we have noticed as we've watched so many of you that it is really helpful if you can find something to focus upon that isn't much to think about like even a ticking of a clock is a pretty good thing or the dripping of a faucet is a pretty good thing or if you want your eyes to be open it's really better if they're closed a flickering of a flame doesn't matter what it is as long as it's not very much so it has your attention but it doesn't bring a lot of attention you get the idea find something that is easy for you to focus upon that's not very thought-provoking and then just focus on it until you receive the sign that you have quieted your mind and that sign is a physical visceral feeling of detachment from this time and place it feels like numbness it feels like floating it feels like a suspension of gravity it feels like detachment it feels like soothing it feels delicious so Esther is sitting there and once she achieves that state begins to realize 
that some intention other than her own is making motions with her physical body. In other words, she's not deliberately thinking about what she's going to do with her physical body. Something else is, that broader perspective is, that quieted mind is. And once she feels that detachment and begins to feel that, and you will, you will in a day or two or three or four or five, you will feel that. And here's the advantage to you. When you get to that place where you are mindless, you are thoughtless, and the non-physical part of you now is the dominant part of your vibration, you are in a state of utter well-being just for a moment and you are not doing anything with your physical noticing with your physical senses that's distracting from that base of well-being now you see the thing that's so wonderful about allowing it might take you 15 minutes to get there and you might only be there a minute or two before your meditation time is up but that's enough it doesn't matter how long it takes you to get there it's just important that you get there because when you get there you have pushed the reset button you have given yourself an opportunity to have detachment from the vibrations that are hindering you and that rut that Esther found in her knowing what she didn't want and trying to find what she did want is now a little softer it's less likely that she's going to stay in that rut once finding that you see what we're getting at can feel that you're not feeling very engaged in the idea of this but the reason that we're sticking with this subject anyway even though you might be feeling little resistance to it is because we know that if you will allow yourself that quieted place it's like a high-rise building that somebody has told you is not steady on its foundation and so you just put more rebarb up in the top of it and more concrete and try to guy it out maybe to, to sky hooks or to other buildings or maybe to the ground but if the foundation of that building isn't secure it's not going to stand in that secure place very long and neither are you and meditation will take you back to your primal not quite the right word but you know what we mean to your grounded not quite the right word but you know what we mean to the very base to the core of you to the vibrational center of that which you are to the goodness that is you to the whole that is you to the vibrational reality that is you to your inner being who knows everything that you are wanting and knows where you stand in relationship to everything that you want So now you find that vibrational place, that sort of detached place. And once you are pretty good at getting there, have you ever gotten there? You know what we're talking about? Once you are pretty good at getting there, what you will notice if you will allow yourself to stay in that vibrational place for a little bit is that the vibration will begin to turn to thoughts. Thoughts will begin to occur to you. And you will know the perfection of those thoughts because of the way they feel as they come across your mind. Now when the thought comes, don't try to think about it. You're in the receiving mode. Receive the thoughts. Receive the thoughts. Let your vibrational reality and your inner being be the deliverer of the thoughts. You are the receiver of the thoughts. And as you allow yourself to be the receiver of the thought, and you don't contradict the thought by, oh, I wonder if that was my thought, or if that was my inner being's thought, or I wonder if I really thought that, or who thought that, or was that a good thought, or was that a bad thought? I don't even know if I'm thinking good thoughts or bad thoughts. I'm not sure. Just let it be. And as you just let it be, law of attraction and momentum will cause that thought to become more and more and more until an idea will explode in your mind that will make you say this meditation's over I got places to go things to do people to see in other words you'll find yourself 
very soon feeling enlivened for the day. And it doesn't take more than about a week of that, and we're only talking about 15 or 20 minutes, before as you begin your day like that, then everything in your day, these ruts that you've been in relative to different relationships or different situations will begin to soften out. They will begin to dissipate. The problems will dissipate. And if you don't get too carried away in taking score of what's dissipating, and instead you just enjoy, you just find the satisfaction factor in finding your clarity and your strength. Oh. what's happening with your mind you allowing thoughts to turn to things your physical apparatus is being rejuvenated you are in the replenishing mode everything about your experience is being enhanced and improved because you are allowing yourself a respite from the contradictory thoughts that you didn't even know you had that are in the form of beliefs that you've picked up along your physical trail in defense of the world that you are defending yourself against you must be defenseless to be in the receiving mode. And that feels so weird because that sounds like, oh, but what if there are bad things trying to get me? And we say, the thing is, no bad things are even after you unless you're thinking about them. So when you defend yourself against them, you're putting more thoughts that you need to defend against. You sort of kind of get what we mean by that. There's no law of assertion there's only a law of attraction nothing is being asserted into your experience it is all being attracted into your experience demonstrate in your day-to-day -day experiences it is our promise to you that you will notice an improved manifested state right away but we don't want you to take score because we want for a little while your attention to be off of your manifested state your attention for a little while to be upon your vibrational basis because 
vibrations turn to thoughts and thoughts turn to things and the satisfaction factor of releasing resistance and sitting there in that soup of well-being is satisfying and when a thought comes into your mind that's about well-being and love when it's a thought that you can't even articulate it's just a feeling of well-being that's a satisfaction and when that thought turns to a thought of something that you're appreciating and you allow yourself to just ponder that thing that you're appreciating there's satisfaction and then when that thought gathers up another thought or two and you begin to feel enthusiasm in your experience that's satisfaction and then when you move out into the day and your timing is better than it's ever been that satisfaction when you find timing everywhere you go that satisfaction and you're the only one that will be witnessing it because you're the only one that really knows what you've been asking for but as it is demonstrated to you not because you finally deserve it but because you finally allow what you do deserve so we know that was long we also know it is the most important thing that you've ever heard because friends you're trying we know you are you're trying to break through but you're not starting with enough momentum start back here and you'll gain the momentum that equals the energy that creates worlds and one who is connected to that kind of stream is more powerful than millions who are not for the goodness that you are you can be a demonstrator of the well-being that is for everyone to receive but you've got to allow yourself enough momentum that you are not distracted by the next thing that comes along or the next thing that someone says with you about what matters to you if it is important to you it is important to us
when desire feels good you're in a place of being ready for the next inspiration and the next and the next when desire feels good to you then you are on your path of living happily ever after if you have something that you want especially those desires that you've wanted for a while Thank you.